Gerald Bhuya. I'm uh, I'm one of the stakeholders of Meghalaya Tourism, and uh, I I run a travel company called Bhuya Trail Blazers. And uh, uh, basically, Meghalaya is uh, a land full of wonders, and we have various caves. We have a lot of flora and fauna. We have a lot of uh, rivers and waterfalls and beautiful landscapes. And apart from that, we ha we have a culture also. Our culture is very diverse, and we have various um, experiences to, that we can offer to. Uh, uh, visitors of the state. Uh, we have uh, silk tours, we have uh, whistling villages, we have a lot of uh, waterfalls. One is one of the popular waterfalls is now Kalikai Falls, which is the tallest plunge waterfall in India, as we know. And we also have uh, the longest sandstone cave in the world, which is 24 kilometers, that is Krempuri in Meghalaya Mausanram. And we also have uh, other various caves. We, um, we are very proud to say that uh, the era that we're living now is called the Meghalayan Age which dates back to 4,200 years ago. Um, this is the, um, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, derived from a, a cave called Maumulo Cave. So these are the experiences that uh, people can enjoy. We also have the, the famous living root bridges that um, uh, will be declared as a heritage site. Um, these bridges are basically um, uh, root bridges that have entwined into uh, a structure that forms a bridge. So gradually as the roots keep on growing and uh, it forms into a bridge and it grows stronger then it can withstand, it has a carrying capacity as well and it can, people use to cross these bridges from one end to the other end to their fields and to other cultivation areas. But then now with the increase of tourism, people want to experience this, uh, these root bridges and they want to walk on these bridges as well. So these are a few highlights about Meghalaya tourism. We also have the crystal clear water in Meghalaya, which is called Umgot River in the Indo-Bangla uh, Indo border, which is a, Bangla, uh, it's a border in, between Bangladesh and India. So uh, people can come here and experience the boating, local boating. They can do kayaking, they can do cliff jumping, they can do uh, various activities like scuba diving, which is the only scuba diving in, uh, river scuba diving in India, actually. So these are a few highlights of uh, Meghalaya tourism that we have. After COVID, um, we, we are getting a lot of positive response. We have seen a good number of footfall of tourists this time. And we are hoping to host many more tourists in a very sustainable manner and very responsibly. And keeping in mind also about the COVID situation and also about the environmental damage and all of these other things, we are uh, uh, looking onto that as well.